All right, Virgo, welcome to your main monthly reading. It's gonna be for June 2020. So, before we get started, I'm actually going to shuffle in just whatever card wants to show up, show up, shows up. But before we get started, I feel like some of you, do not say most of you, are dealing with anxiety. Uh, I was just doing tours reading, and while I was shuffling some cards, I just got, Virgo, you need to do Virgo, and this feeling of anxiety and of uh, just, I don't know, just uh, really, uh, maybe scared, you know, but it, like, just, it was really, I can't even explain it, you know, I feel like it was that, it was anxiety, um, it just got to me, and was really heavy, um, so some of you could could be going dealing with anxiety um, during the mid month uh, this this past um, this next few weeks uh, I don't know has been dealing with anxiety take it however resonates but that came strongly and also Mercury is soon going into a retrograde so uh, and I'm a, a sun um, I have my sun in Virgo so. You know, <laughs> I get you, I get you. Um, and for me, Mercury retrograde really gets me. I, I always feel like crap. So that could be, you could already be feeling the Mercury retrograde, okay? And that's totally fine. Um, but let's see what we have for you, okay? But I just got that. I just got that some of you could be dealing with anxiety. I really felt this like huge urge that I needed to do Virgo ASAP and you know if I didn't and this lack of like I couldn't breathe it was really really heavy um, so we have vanity perseverance and recovery this is smelling reconciliation to be honest and you fighting for the reconciliation um, it could also be the other way around. I got reconciliation quite immediately, but it could be the other way around. And we have release your ex uh, under the deck. So maybe you're releasing someone, all right? Maybe you're fighting to get over someone. But let's see, let's see what we have from the romance angels. Let's see where this goes. Uh, but yeah, by the way, I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> Today we are looking at uh, uh, energy surrounding you. In regards to a relationship, if it is about love, it is. Uh, I usually ask about love, but if about if it is about a family member or something like that, um, it will show up, and that's it. And so, just take it however resonates. Uh, it's a general reading; it may not resonate with everyone. And also, the roles could be reversed. Okay. So take the story however you feel like it is. In your case okay and if it doesn't resonate it doesn't you can always check your other signs or other amazing videos uh, here on YouTube anything else Oof. not that many please okay all right and bottom of the deck, we got the wedding. That was really important for me for some reason. So um, you could be dealing, this could be about marriage, not necessarily. A marriage and you wanting children, I don't know. I'm also getting that some of you might have lost a child. I'm really sorry about that, if that's the case. Um, but we got children and it, it is safe for you to love. I feel like someone is acting immature. To be honest, it could be you, um, but it's not like immaturity, maturity. It's just that I feel like you've been working on yourself a lot and you have this view of what is what is it that you deserve, you know? And you might, it's not that you have your standards too high, but you might want too much all of the sudden, you know? Um, and I feel like you need to go down a little bit. And it's not for you to stop fighting for what you want, but breathe a little bit, okay? Let things happen and let things come to you as they wish. Oh my god, I need to put my computer charge. Hang in there. Alrighty, we're back. So, um, 
yeah, I don't even know what I was saying. So <laughs> yeah, I think the messages were there. Um, if we have any question, it will certainly be clarified right now. So yeah, let's see. Let's put the material. Let us see what we have. Okay, so what is the ever overall um, energy for Virgo? What is the overall energy, please? Yeah. All right, so that's actually really good. Um, so we have the five of wands, this talks about conflict and I'm getting that it's a little bit inner conflict, but it also could be conflict with this person. Um, but we have the world and the five of swords. So I'm kind of getting that whenever you would talk to this person, it would be like the conversations were, were super empty the conversation were like yo the weather is fine you know and that was creating a lot of conflict and a lot of heaviness because you weren't talking you weren't and i feel like you're going into this cycle where you're good not uh, nothing like that <laughs> you're going to um to end this cycle of empty conversations and begin a new one with a lot of truthful communication okay and i feel like to be honest i feel like it's going to start from the the other person um, and you might actually, I feel like you're going to fight for that truthful communication. Um, you might actually put an end to something and the other person is going to like try really hard to get you back. And because you put an end to something and you have this expectation of things being that way when they, if they, um, show up again, if you start something again, and I feel like you need to just take a step back and really see things how they are okay because i feel like this person is really trying if that is the case it is safe for you to love okay and it's like i'm not saying for you to lower your standards for you to nothing like that it's just be a little bit open okay but there is definitely some conflict ending here in the overall energy and a new beginning starting Okay, and I feel like that ending is going to be brought up by you, but we'll see, we'll see. What uh, is Virgo's current energy? Good, come here. What is Virgo's current energy? I feel like you're not trusting this person. The vanity card also talks about... Um, Self-doubt, so that could also be it, but I feel like you don't trust this person. Yeah, and this nine of swords could be that anxiety thing, you know, and it's almost like everything that happens is it's making you crazy because it's that that's the reason is that the reason you know and you start thinking and your mind doesn't stop and you can't breathe you know and it just gets too much and i feel like you're walking away from this three of swords from this pain maybe this relationship um this could actually be a new beginning in this relationship if this is a marriage and we got that wedding card here at the bottom that i i said it really got my attention so if this is a wedding maybe you're you were in this cycle of empty conversations of, I don't know, things were boring, things, you know, it was just blah, and I feel like you're getting from that to a new beginning, you have two aces already, okay, so definitely new things coming up, and uh, it's you who's going to start this moving, this movement towards the new beginning by ending what's happening um, b before or right now, okay, by ending this pain, by ending but closing the door to the past, you know, um, uh, the sentence that this recovery card talks, uh, comes with is 
Oh, what is it? Wait. There we go. Pain from our past uh, opens the door to understanding. Um, and I got that that was important because of that thing of that door. It's like you're closing the door. Um, you're allowing. And that anxiety, I feel like you should give in to it. You know? Sometimes we try to avoid it and we don't want to feel it. And that actually just expands the anxiety. You know? And I feel like the moment you just give in the anxiety, you see the new door right in front of you. Okay? Um, but this, if this is not about the anxiety and it's about that relationship, I feel like you're going to close that door where there was a lot of burdens, where there was a lot of conflict, there was a lot of pain, possibly there was a breakup, possibly, or just a break, you know? Um, and again, I feel like it's you who's going to close this door and then the new door is just going to be open. Okay, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that it's it's you who's going to open the new door. It doesn't mean that it's your person who's going to open the new door. Maybe it is, but I feel like it's just going to automatically open itself up to the both of you. And then from that point on, you just need to go. Okay, if this is about releasing someone, then you the door opens, and whoever wants to to get inside that door, it will. It's just it's a new beginning. Okay, what matters here is you're closing that door and opening another one. A better new one okay that was a big explanation damn <laughs> let's see what is this person's energy what is the the energy of the person of Virgo's dealing with what is their current energy if, if, if. all right what else what else Definitely, I feel like it's definitely your person who's going to, yeah, who's going to fight for you, okay? The, number one, this person is crazy about you, crazy. Nine of cups and ten of cups. And I feel like they weren't really realizing it until you walk away, until you close that door at least. Or maybe you don't even have to do anything. It's just, it's going to come up to them, just like that, you know? And from that point on... Things are just going to flow. I feel like things are going to be much more grounded, more balanced. And with this emperor, the emperor is someone who gets the things done, okay? So I feel like that perseverance, it's going to be from your person. They're so going to try to win you back, so going to try to, um, to make things work, you know? Because now they see how important you are to them and how crazy they are to, about you. Okay, and I feel like they are realizing that now, and they are really determined to um, to go towards you. Okay, could definitely be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, uh, let me see your feelings towards this person. What are Virgo's feelings? Yeah, that's good. honest uh, I feel like you've been waiting for this person for a very long time and they probably would never uh, make the move so we're like okay bye honey bye um, you are leaving the burdens behind okay this relationship how it was it was really heavy it wasn't making you happy you weren't satisfied by it so you're like okay I'm not happy here let's move on to somewhere new you did or you're going to do and a new beginning with this person, I feel like this with this person is starting. You have three aces here, plus the fool. Okay, you are highly attracted to this person with his king of wands. 
the San Francisco, it, it was what's telling me uh, that you probably were waiting for this person for a very long time. Or not necessarily for the person, but for them to really own up to their feelings and start fighting for you. You know, it was very back and forth. At least that's how I think you feel about the relationship. And you're like, uh, and you probably, I feel like in the past, um, you weren't really communicating. And right now, in the moment that you're watching this video, possibly you're not communicating a lot with this person. But I'm also seeing that you're going toward, towards a new place where you're like, honey boo, I have feelings for you. I want a new beginning with whoever it is. Okay, I just want to feel good in a relationship and right now how things are it's not working So I'm gone But if you have the the will and the and if you really want a new beginning with me Prove it to me, you know, I feel like you were done sitting sitting in the back and you because I feel like you were letting the fear of being judged the fear of Sounding like a fool. I feel like you're letting that behind you know, I feel like you're just owning up to yourself. And that's why uh, this vanity card might be showing up. And then it is safe for you to love. It's like, yeah, all of that. But when they do come back and do prove it to you, they are proving it to you. Okay? And sometimes it may seem re really, really small, but they are. Okay? And I feel like you just need to be a little bit open to it. But you have crazy new beginnings coming towards you. All right, let me see. What are this person's feelings towards Virgo? All right. So we have the Seven of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the seven of pentacles so what i'm getting is that in the past they saw you as an option you know and not has a choice i want that person they saw you as oh yeah they're there i i can be with them if i want to you know I'm, i don't care um they they probably didn't uh, to be honest i feel like they weren't feeling in the past they were just like acknowledging things yeah okay that person is there uh, and they weren't really doing anything to be with you. Um, and now they regret it. Okay? Now they regret it because now they realize how much, how important you were to them. But with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like they are really... I feel like they want to make up to you. They want to prove it to you that they are willing to put in the effort this time. Okay? They're really... And as long as it takes, they are not giving up, to be quite honest. Look at this. The higher fund. Bottom of the deck could be dealing with the Taurus, King of Swords could be dealing with an air sign, Ace of Wands, okay? Someone is really determined here to get this relationship with you because now they know that this is it, okay? And a wedding card, if you're not married to this person, this could be where it leads, okay? This could be the outcome. Possibly this is how they see you right now. Possibly this this is what they are realizing. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the one. Okay? So, ooh, come here. What is the potential outcome? All right. We have the Illumination card, the Knight of Cups, and the Four of Swords. You're going through um, the relationship is going to go through a very heavy, deep healing. Okay, um, you have love, and I feel like love it is. I feel like it's mainly this person showing you how they love you how much they love you, but also you're giving that love back once you surrender, okay? Um, and a lot of healing is going to take place, okay? And to be honest, this could very well be a divinely guided connection, okay? Because the universe is here by your side and everything that's happening is happening how it's supposed to. Everything that is happening is happening with a purpose and the universe is there to 
with you, okay? So let's get some final messages and advice from the universe, all right? We have self-codependency. There could have been codependency in the past, and I feel like um, it, that needed to end, okay? And it needs to end, but I said needed in the past for some reason, so maybe you were already done with uh, uh, codependency. But yeah, something needs to end. Maybe it's not codependency, but I feel like it's just... That nonsense needs to end, and everything is going to be okay. Anything else for Virgo? Anything else for Virgo? Look at this. What did I tell you? Healing. Yeah, gift yourself. And what are your dreams telling you? I feel like you need to have a relationship with yourself, okay? Because um, if you're having some sort of self-doubt, um, you need to have that relationship with yourself. Don't be afraid to, to spoil yourself, okay? And to stand up for yourself. I'm really getting that, standing up for yourself. And what are your dreams telling you? Maybe you communicate with this person through dreams. Maybe your dreams are sending you um, some other messages that you need to hear. Let's get some uh, advice. Not advice, what? <laughs> uh, let's get some messages from your person to you. Oh. Well, look at this. Won't you, won't you look at this? I don't know if you can see anything, but it basically says, I'll prove it to you. Okay? I'll freaking prove it to you. What are some other messages for a Virgo from their person? I'm also getting I'll fight for you. I actually don't think I have that in this deck, but I got that message. No? Oh yeah, okay. Thank you. Again, I feel like only now they realize how important you are to them. I'm not ready. Be patient. And I feel like there's another one here. Alright, it's you. I'll try. I feel like they're coming up with a plan, okay? And you need to be a little bit honest and a little bit honest. Uh, well, you do need to be honest, but you need to be a little bit patient while they are making up the, pa the plan. And when they come, try to, to be open to it, okay? And just know that everything is going to be okay, okay? Illumination card. This, the universe is truly by your side and by this connection side, okay? So Virgo, this is what I have for you. This is quite a long reading, but I hope this helped and it resonated somehow and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.